Indriyanindha Thibba Sasa Pradhapa Dhisudha, one who is uh, practiced to uh, control his senses. Uh, senses are not to be stopped. They are to be used at proper time, but not at the dictation of the senses. When comes when one comes to that standard of life, that he is not dictated by the senses, but he uses senses uh, when it is uh, properly required. Uh, senses are not to be stopped. Uh, that is not prescribed. That is not prescribed. Uh, but some, somebody says that sense control means to mm. use uh, to stop these uh, action of the senses. No. Senses. Action of the senses cannot be stopped. Simply it has to be purified. The action of the senses has to be purified. That is the whole process. Because as a spiritual living entity, we have got our spiritual senses. Those senses are now covered by this matter. We are not senseless. Just like your coat, your coat is cut according to your hand, because the coat, you will see, the coat has also got a hand. And why coat has got a hand? Because the user of the coat, he has got a hand. The coat is cut according to the hand of the user of the body. Similarly, this material body has been described in the Bhagavad-gītā as dress. So unless I have got body, where from the dress comes? Dress has no meaning unless I have got body. So senses are there. And those senses are required to be used, otherwise there is no meaning of senses. But that is spiritual. The senses are to be engaged in the spiritual activity. That is spiritual life. Spiritual life. The example, as I have already explained to you many times, that's like Arjo. He wanted to control his senses, uh, to refrain from fighting. When you fight, you require to engage your senses. He said that, I will not fight. That means he is controlling his senses uh, from fighting. Uh, but uh, after hearing Bhagavad Gita, he says, Yes, I will fight. Just see, uh, before hearing Bhagavad Gita, the position of Arjun, that I, I will not fight. And after hearing Bhagavad Gita, the position of I, yes, I will fight. The two contradictory. Before hearing Bhagavad Gita, the position of I was negative. And people may uh, estimate this non violence attitude of Arjuna very nicely. But after Bhagavad Gita, after hearing Bhagavad Gita, he says, Yes, Karishse Vachanam Tava, yes, I shall fight. Now, do you mean to think that he degraded? First of all, he was nonviolent, he was not willing to fight. Now he has degraded after hearing Bhagavad Gita. Is it the conclusion? No. He has improved. He has improved. Why he has improved? Because he has understood how to use the senses. That's all. Ah. In the beginning he did not know how to use the senses. Therefore he decided, I shall not fight. I shall not fight. That is his material calculation. So our material calculation is all nonsense. Our material calculation of our activities, they are all nonsense. They are all, I mean, causes of our bondage. And when the same senses, they are engaged in the service of the Supreme, that is our freedom. Kama Krishna Karnatpani. 
Yes, the same thing is indirectly explained. Yada sangharati chayam kurmangani. One should know when I, when I shall properly use these senses. Uh, that, that, uh, that is the um, uh, sign of, uh, of a person who is situated in pure consciousness. He knows properly uh, how to use my senses. Uh, that is the difference uh, by the instruction of Bhagavad-gītā we find that in the beginning Arjun did not know how to use his senses. And after reading, after hearing Bhagavad-gītā, he learned it. He became a learned man, how to use his senses. And when he did not know how to use his senses, he said, I shall not fight. And when he learned how to use senses, he said, yes, I will fight. Now, what is the difference between yes and no? Ah, that means when our senses are engaged in the service of the Supreme Consciousness, then we are in a pure consciousness situation. And when our senses are used to our whims, to our whims, just like in the previous slope, it has been uh, explained, prajahati jada kāman sarvān pārtho manogatā. We manufacture plans by our mental concoction. Huh. That should be given up. Jada prajahati kaman sarva. All kinds of mental concoction, mental speculation should be given up. That is the sign, that is the beginning of our spiritual life. That I shall not use my mind for my activities. I shall wait for the direction from the higher authority, supreme consciousness. Then I shall act. Just like a soldier. He is simply awaiting the order of the commander. Uh, then his activities are approved. Oh, he is doing nicely. Yes. By the approval of the commander, he is killing as many persons. And by this killing art, he is being rewarded. Oh, you are, you are a good soldier. Uh, but that killing, if he does for his personal interest, even if he kills one man, he is hanged. By the same state, by the same state for which he is engaged in fighting, if he kills enemies, he is rewarded. He is awarded gold medal, eh? recognition. And that very person, out of the war field, when he comes home, if he kills one man, then he is hanged. Ah, if he says that the same killing I was, do- I was doing in the war field, and same killing I have done, there I was killing hundreds and thousands of men, I was awarded gold medal, and here I have killed only one person, I am being hanged. What is this? No. You have killed according to your own wings, and that is from the superior order. That is the difference. Similarly, if we do, if we act, According to our mental speculation and mental whims, then we are bound up by the reaction. And if we practice ourselves to be acted under the direction of the Supreme, then we are free. This is the art. This is the whole art of spiritual life. So we have to practice. We have to practice it in our everything, we, because for so long we are in this material body, uh, we have got so many material demands, uh, we cannot stop the activities of the body. That is not possible. Uh, by force, uh, if I uh, stop all the activities of my body, uh, that is not possible. That is not possible. The bodily activities will go on. But the bodily activities would be so performed uh, uh, that I will not be uh, bound up by the reaction. And that is called devotional service.